Hey guys, this is Mr. Ninja Boy, and if you are a brand new user of the Unity 3D software, this is the best tutorial for you. I'm gonna teach you all the essentials needed before you start making your own game. And this is basically for beginners and uh, for people that are coming back to the software that haven't used it in a while. So I'm gonna teach you all the essentials from the interface to importing your own models and all the essentials needed before you start your own game. So let's get started. So before we get started, I just wanna let you guys know I made a brand new forum called Unity Ninja. Basically what this is is it's a forum dedicated to answer questions if you guys need help and it's a general community forum um, where you know you can post your progress in your game your show in the project showcase you can uh, this is where I answer questions for tutorials um, and also the most important part the resources so I'm going to be including free resources on this tutorial on this uh, on this forum and uh, yeah so it's also community forum so other people post their own resources and it's a really good forum I recommend you check it out you can get a lot out of it so let's get started with the tutorial so when you first start up unity you're gonna see something called angry bots and this is basically a game that shows the capabilities of unity 3d and it's made by unity themselves but we're gonna skip this and create our own project and this is the first step of creating your own game so we're gonna go to file new project so you can name it whatever you want and all right so first of all if you want a game uh we have to create a scene because we without a scene we don't really have a game so let's go to file new scene or uh yeah save scene as and then when you press save scene as just save it as whatever you want um uh and save it under your assets folder so press save and there you go so now we have a scene and i'm going to teach you guys the interface and this is very important that you guys um, fluently know the interface of Unity 3D before you create your game. First off, there's a lot of tabs in Unity, and um, the first one is Herakery, and this is basically what you have in game. And um, next to that, um, we have the Scene tab and the Game tab, and these are very different. The Scene tab is basically the in game editor. You can edit um, your map, you can move objects around in the game. This is basically the editor of the game itself. And the Game tab is basically what you see when you're playing the game, it's a perspective. Of the game and this is the perspective of of wherever you are you're basically god you're the god of the game um yeah these are very important um you know the difference between them and uh yeah so now for the interface itself for moving for scrolling and you can scroll in and out use your scroll uh you just scroll in and out you know you know how to scroll in use your mouse next is to pan around you click on this hand and you can just pan around and if you want to move in 360 degrees you right click on your mouse and you can combine this with the pan around and it's you can easily get uh, around objects and yeah so next thing is the selection tool you can uh, press the selection tool and then uh, click and be, by the way make sure you're on the scene if you want to do all this so press the selection tool and then click on any object you want in your game all we have this is the cube for now but you can move it around up and down all, all the axes x y and z and uh, yeah, so next tool is the rotation tool, and you can rotate any object, uh, make sure you select it first. If it's like this, then you just select the object itself you want to rotate, and yeah, you can just rotate it however you want. And the next object, the next and the last um, tool uh, is the, the scale tool, and this you can scale the object um, in the X, Y, Z, all the axes, and uh, yeah. So this is basically all you need to know uh, for interface um, in Unity 3D. So now I'm going to show you guys how to import Unity packages. And these are basically assets for your game to make it better. Uh, to enhance your game and, for example, add a first-person controller. Without this, you don't really have a game. So we're going to go to Assets, Import, Package, Character Controller. So this is the first package we're going to import. And then we're going we're gonna to click Import when this window pops up and just wait till it imports. You're going to notice a folder that pops up. It's called standard assets. You can open that and as you can see, this is the character controller that we imported. So we're going to import another one called um, terrain assets and then you click on that and it imports it. So so once you're done importing all three, the skyboxes, the terrain assets and the character controller, we're going to go back to the assets folder. We're going to double click the, the scene that we made and press don't save. So this is basically the saved scene now. So we're gonna go to, now we can finally create a terrain. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the surrounding and the terrain of the player. 
So we're going to go to game object, create other terrain. So once we've done that, um, as you can see here, we've got a simple um, terrain and it's flat, but we can add mountains and make it um, mountainous and make it more realistic. So again, we're going to go to selection tool, like I taught you in the interface, click on it. And as you can see here to the right in the inspector tab, um, there's this, um, there's all these tools that, that you can edit the, the terrain with. But first of all, we're going to click on this one which is the first one, which is the raising and lowering of, of the terrain. So you can, there's a lot of brushes that you can use, but I'm gonna use this one for now and increase the brush size and just make mountains. It's actually really simple. Um, making terrains is pretty fun in Unity and it's very, very simple. No modeling needed, nothing like that. So once we're done with the terrain, we wanna add a texture to it to make it more realistic. So let's click on it and uh, go to this brush tool and press edit texture, add texture. So once this window pops up, press select and uh, find a texture that you want. And uh, yeah, there's a texture and that came in the package that we imported. So press add and there you go. So it automatically um, adds it to the terrain itself. So now um, we're gonna add a directional light to the game because as you can see, the game is a little dark. So we're gonna go to game object, create other directional light. So there it is, press on that. And uh, yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the game is a little brighter. And uh, you can increase the t intensity of it. And yeah, I think that's good for now. All right, so now let's add a skybox. Because as you can see here, um, we don't have a skybox right now. And it's gray. The sky's gray. So that's not really realistic. So let's go to Edit, um, Render Settings. And Skybox Material should be right here. So um, once you see Skybox Material, I'll go to the right and click on that little circle with the, di with the dot in the middle and uh, find a skybox. So we want this one and there you go. So it's much more realistic right now. All right, so now let's add a player into the game. This is really exciting. This is actually when we bring our game to life and it actually has, um, you can actually play the game itself. So let's go to um, this assets and then standard assets and then uh, character controller. So you can also go to the search bar and search up first person controller. And uh, yeah, so this is basically what we imported when we went to game object or assets import package. And yeah, so we're gonna drag this um, into the scene. And uh, yeah, so once you got it there, uh, you can zoom in by pressing F. And uh, we got a really, really close up of uh, the, the player. So let's put the player above the ground. Make sure, this is very important. Make sure the player is always above the ground or else it's, he's gonna sink through the map. So once we've got that, we can actually click on the game. And as you can see, this is the game perspective. So um, if you have a main camera here, uh, you can delete that because we're not gonna be using that. And because uh, we already have a main camera for the player itself. So if you want to go into play mode and actually test the game at any time, you can press this play button up here. So uh, as you can see, this is play mode and yeah there we go so this is our very simple game if you press w the player goes for forward this is um, the simple movements of a player right, so this is the final thing i'm going to show you guys in this tutorial and this is importing your own stuff this can be a 3d model a script a texture etc but yeah i'm going to show you how to do it so you go to assets import at new asset and uh when it goes to this it you have to locate your file so i have it on my desktop here so open the file that you want. And I believe for 3D models, Unity supports OBJ and FBX files. I'm not sure if it supports any other. So we're gonna click import and it's gonna import it just like it imports any other file. So we have our 3D model file here. And now I'm gonna import the texture for the file. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to assets, import new asset and locate the file that I want. So I finished importing all my model and my texture. So now if you wanna add the model to the scene, you just literally drag it onto the scene. It's as simple as that. So now I'm gonna rescale it um, like I showed you in the interface tutorial. So yeah, now that I scaled it, I am gonna bring it down to the ground so it actually touches the ground. And this is all from the interface stuff that I showed you guys. So now I'm gonna add a texture itself to the house. So once it's selected, you can select it again or double click it and uh, it comes with this, you can assign textures for it. So you literally just have to drag uh, the textures onto um, 
you know the model itself so it's pretty simple uh that's definitely not the texture for it it's probably this one yeah there we go so for now i'm just not going to re reassign all every single texture i'm just showing you guys how to do it and if you want for example to give it a specular kind of uh a shiny look to it you can click it again and go to this the shader and go to there's a lot of settings you can do but I, i'm gonna do specular for now so yeah it gives it kind of like a shiny effect so if we play if we press play mode we can see our 3d model that we've just added all right so that is pretty much it for the basics tutorial and if you guys want to learn how to make a first person shooter game in unity check out my series i made i made six videos on it how to make an fps game in unity it's a really good series i worked hard on it just uh i provide you guys with free scripts and free everything just check it out it's really good um to get you guys started in making an fps game if, you, if you'd like to make one and definitely check out my forum if you guys want free resources contact new developers you know you can seek team members it's a really good forum i'm trying to grow it and expand my forum itself and uh yeah so thanks for watching this video see you guys next time